Hey, it's Metacosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about bimodal age distribution in cases of Hodgkin's lymphoma and other cases. Let's start with bimodal. What does bimodal mean? This is going to be the topic of today's video. It's a lesson in statistics. We have talked about Hodgkin's lymphoma before in my playlist called Hematology, but in a nutshell, hematological malignancies are leukemias, lymphomas, or multiple myeloma, and Hodgkin's lymphoma is here. It's a lymphoma. What is a lymphoma? Solid tumor of the immune system could be in the lymph nodes, spleen, or the mucosa, associated lymphatic tissue, thymus, etc. Lymph is lymph, oma is a mass. The old name of lymphoma was lymphosarcoma. Why did they call them that? Because oma means mass. Sarcoma is a tumor of a connective tissue origin, not of an epithelial origin. And as you know, the lymph node is a connective tissue. Blood itself is a connective tissue. Also, lymph is a connective tissue. Lymphoma, baby. Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's? Hodgkin's is local spread, contiguous spread. Reed-Sternberg cell is very famous. Non-Hodgkin, there is no Reed-Sternberg cell. It's no or extranodal spread. It could be B-cell or T-cell. B-cells are the most common. And then you have aggressive or indolent. We have talked about all of this before. But now we're talking about Hodgkin's lymphoma, man. Hodgkin lymphoma, as you know, has a bimodal age distribution. The first peak occurs among patients who are 15 to 34 years old. The second peak among patients who are older than 50. What does bimodal mean? Bi is two. Modal is the mode. So what is the mode? First, in statistics, we have two things. Central tendency and dispersion. I love this word. Super sophisticated. The measure of central tendency, which is in the middle, and the measure of dispersion to the left and to the right, negative and positive. To measure the central tendency, we use three measurements, the mean, the median, and the mode, which is today's topic. But to measure dispersion, we use the range, the standard deviation, and the coefficient variation. I gotta love statistics, man, it's amazing. By modal, by means two, modal from mode. What's the mode? The mode is the most frequently repeated value in a set. What the flip does that mean? The most frequently repeated value in a set like this. You see the set? What's the most frequently repeated value here? What's the mode? If you say 7, you're a genius. Absolutely, freaking lutely 7 is the most repeated value here. So 7 is the mode. And if you are a nerd like me, mode came from a French word, a la mode. You know when there is like this lovely suit, you, you see this? And everybody keeps wearing the same suit because it's now a la mode. It's trendy, it's fashionable. And of course, people like copying each other. That's why Apple every year changed the design of their iPhone. Not because it's necessarily getting better, it's just tweaks. But the design is different so that you feel inferior. Oh, I gotta get the 2021 new iPhone. I gotta get the new iPad man with the three cameras on the back. You don't take cameras with your iPad, so shut up. And that's why some styles which were old and history are now coming back. Why? They keep changing so that you keep buying them. It's a psychological trick and it works. Nothing major has happened to the textile industry for the last 70 years. The newest thing was the invention of polyester. After that, it's all like, oh, oh my underwear is 100% cotton. It's the same thing as 50 years ago. Shut up. Bimodal. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Bimodal. Oh, bimodal. There are two modes. There are two most repeated values in a set. Absolutely. The first repeated set is patients who are between 15 and 34 year old and the second peak is after 50 there are two modes there are two most frequently repeated values in a set and that's how you do it the, your horizontal axis is the age of the patient your vertical axis is the prevalence of Hodgkin's lymphoma or the number of patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma let's say patients who are five years old like we found in a population let's say five but a patient who is here look at this peak 1000 patients Okay, and then they decrease and then they go up again. 1,000 patients in the age group aft over 50. That's what we mean by bimodal. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. You can get my premium courses such as my electrolytes course, my antibiotics course, and my cardiac pharmacology course on my website, medicosisperfectionalis.com. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Until next time.